Woohoo! So we've got a mystery box from Apple to take a look at. Plenty of free air. I could sell these to China. Oh my goodness, what a disaster. Apparently, if you want the student discount with the uh, new Apple devices, you have to get one of these. It's, uh, it's not optional. It's free and you have to take it to get the discount. What the hell? Now the Apple Pencil. That is essential. And at the very bottom, we have the real deal, the iPad Pro. And this is the 11 inch 256 gig variant. 12.9 is just way too big for an iPad and 64 gigs is like, I mean, that's toy stuff right now. So we have an easy seal, we'll just take that off. Finally, and there we have it, the iPad Pro. It's amazing how light this thing is. I've used uh, the Surface Pro 6 at a store and that is nothing like this. It's truly incredible how powerful this thing is considering the size. Even outperforms some i7s and benchmarks. Of course, with the current iOS iteration, it does not have a lot of functionality that you can use this for, but hey, who knows what's going to happen in the future. And more importantly, I just needed something to read and write. And uh, well, this is the bare minimum these days, isn't it? If we go into the box, there is the usual power adapter. Probably won't be using this. Got plenty of these already. And we have the cable. Is this USB? C to USB-C. Yep, that is what it is. So that's really cool. Of course, in terms of ports, we don't get anything else. Just the single USB-C adapt, I mean, connector. Well, at least it's better than Lightning. And this is, I think, the speaker grill on both sides. Does it turn on? No, it's broken. Have to return it, refund, 0 out of 10, would not recommend. Okay, now I'm seriously concerned. Oh, wait, there we go. 12-inch MacBook, 11-inch iPad Pro. Look at that for a comparison. That is incredible. This is what it looks like on the desk.